When you record at full screen or with any large dimensions, sometimes it's difficult to see the details of your video when producing to much smaller dimensions, such as on a mobile device or a website. That's where Camtasia's Smart Focus feature can help. Smart Focus automatically predicts where to zoom in during your video to make it easier to see things on your screen. All this happens behind the scenes during recording, as Smart Focus analyzes the position of your mouse cursor, which windows are active, and when text is entered. Smart Focus then uses this data to add zoom animations to your timeline in the editor. One important thing to note is that Smart Focus will only work with Camtasia recording or Camrec files. It will not work when saving your recording to the AVI format, or with other video formats that can be imported into Camtasia Studio. You can still manually zoom and pan with other video formats, but the Smart Focus data just won't be present. Let's take a look at how Smart Focus is applied, and then how easy it is to edit and add new zoom animations. As long as the editing dimensions that you choose are smaller than the recording dimensions, Smart Focus will automatically be applied to the timeline. If Smart Focus is applied, you'll see this pop up on the timeline. You will also see these blue visual animations that represent where Smart Focus was automatically applied. Their placement is predicted based on data collected during the recording. For example, where the cursor was pointing on the screen. Any new zoom and pan animations can be added here manually at any point in the video and this drawer can be opened and hidden using this button. You can position the playhead before any of the animations and play back the video to see what happens in the canvas. Here it looks like this zoom is focusing in on the calculator as the mouse pointer is clicking the keys. To reposition when the zoom happens during the video, click and drag the animation on the timeline. It's also very easy to make quick edits to an animation. Just double click one of them and the Visual Properties tab opens. The Visual Properties gives you tons of control over how your media looks and appears in your video. This also includes editing your zoom animations. Adjust the scale of your zoom by dragging the slider, and see the changes instantly on the canvas. If you're zooming in, targeting 100% is a good rule to follow because that's where your video will be the clearest. Anything over 100% may cause your video to look blurry or pixelated. You can also adjust the opacity and other visual effects, but we'll cover these more in the Visual Properties tutorial. Besides using the scale slider to adjust the zoom level, it's also possible to grab one of the corners on the canvas to scale your video. You may need to change the percentage of view on the canvas using this drop-down menu or the scroll wheel on your mouse to see more of your recorded video. Then just drag the recording to reposition what you want to show inside the preview area of the canvas. Anything outside of this video preview area will not show up in the produced video. Once the video is zoomed into this new location, it will remain there until it either reaches the end of the clip or another animation. Let's play back the video just before this next animation to see what happens. Now the focus is on the notepad document and everything else is not visible in the video. Again, if this animation needed to be edited, just double click it and make the changes within the Visual Properties tab. Let's say you don't want to use Smart Focus, or you want to manually control where to add any zooms and pans in your video. No problem. First, let me show you how to turn off Smart Focus. Click to open the Zoom and Pan tab, and uncheck this box next to Apply Smart Focus to Clips Added. Now, any new clips added to the timeline won't automatically add the zoom and pan animations. To remove any or all existing animations from a clip, Right-click one of them and either choose Delete or Delete All Visual Animations. If you have multiple clips on the timeline, you will have to delete all visual animations separately from those clips. To add a visual animation manually, first select the media and position the playhead where you want to add the animation. If you don't have any media selected on the timeline, you will see this message in the Visual Properties tab. So with the media selected, click the Add Animation button. If you like keyboard shortcuts, the hotkey Z will also work, but again, the media must be selected on the timeline in order to add an animation. You can resize and reposition the video on the canvas so that it shows exactly what you want at this point in the video. As an alternative, you can also reposition the level of zoom from within the Zoom and Pan tab. Whatever is placed inside this selection rectangle on the left gets displayed in the video at this point in time. 
Now it's up to you to decide if you want Smart Focus to help guide you with when to zoom and pan, or take over the control yourself and add the visual animations manually. The next tutorial in this series will show you how to cut out or remove unwanted media on the timeline. If you have any feedback for us, please follow this link to a short survey.